No, they're gonna make a movie of the beach. How are you enjoying? The, no, I know you're gone. So we are at Badger Beach, and this is the view. So you got some sand dunes on the right, massive beach, which is partially flooded. Badger Beach, yes. And um, nice, north of Launceston. It's a nice sunny day here, not oh. too hot, not too cold, and to look for the beach we found. It's just empty until it's ends and we're walking here and walking and walking and walking. No people inside. We haven't come very far to be honest. This is the way the, all the beaches should be like, like so refreshing to see the beach like this. Yeah, that's for sure. We are doing a hike uh, up in the mountains in Tasmania. The pine tree hike I believe it is and you get all these old pencil pines which are apparently related to the um, sequoia trees that you can find in the redwood forest in the united states well they're definitely not as tall but you wouldn't expect them to considering that they live in this pretty harsh environment Oh, it would be such an amazing place for doing yoga next time. I'm gonna bring my yoga mat here. Certainly a lot of space. I can invite two or three more people. Yeah. Or if it's a Berlin studio, I think you might even fit 10 here. I feel me. This is a big tree. A yeah. big tree. This is a big eucalyptus. And uh, there are really huge ferns here. And finally, the New Zealand, like we were imagining it. Tasmania. Here. We are in Tasmania still. <laughs> I'm ready to jump to New Zealand. Green yes. forest. We are walking this scenic box we found on their site, like tourist site of Tasmania, 60 spectacular short walk walks. We are doing this one. We will test them out. Descend to tall invigorating rainforests flanked by ferns to the tiered cascade of Luffy Falls. Take time to enjoy the variety of flora along the way. During the Carboniferous period, there were super ferns, so naturally they were big, I suppose. And now, at least in Europe, we don't get to see those kinds of fern. So, it's so nice. More fern. Fern palms. I think there is a viewing platform here. We're almost down at Little Falls. And I think we are on the final stretch. I can hear the waters rush.
for such a different view from like nature in Europe. So cool. Oh. What are you doing? What is that? We found the tunnels here. The tunnel. We thought we'd find a wildlife here. We, we were told Enchanted Rock is a place to see wombats. I still haven't seen any wombats. Oh, it's raining, so they're probably hiding underground or in this beautiful tunnel you just snakes, checked out. The venomous snakes are hiding here under the stones we were told. Yes, not good. So, so did you check under the stones? We just started our first walk in a cradle mountain and some things you can keep in mind for your planning. The day pass uh, costed us 27 dollars. You can take bus with these day passes. You can also have the family pass for a little bit over than sixty dollars, or you can buy a pass for I think eighty-five dollars. That gives you uh, the right to enter all their national parks in Tasmania, but then you have to pay fifteen dollars so for the bus right here. And we entered the park from the north, just to drive here was so beautiful. Even then we saw very little, as it was really foggy. And um, after we got our tickets from the visitor center, we got shuttled here by bus. The bus operates between the entrance and the Dove Lake. And you can just hop on and off the bus and if you come here before the opening hours or after you can drive with your own car so many people say it's even a better option and you really get to see the wildlife but of course you, you drive here inside if you have the accommodation booked that is it we're gonna go and look for wombats so very mossy here yeah. like a sign. Was there another trail there? Yes, So now we're walking along Dark Lake and uh, so far it's been a really easy trail. You just go past the boathouse and you're on this trail here and I think I like to pass down to uh, Little Lake a little bit more. Well, it's so beautiful. And Or even this pass along the lake is uh, made with boards and easy to walk. It's a very uh, relaxing walk and easy. I said that, didn't I? Uh, thanks to the National Park Management, please are really well maintained and I think we have a little bit of a sand beach down on the left. We can go for a swim. Let's see if we can get there. Should we take a look at the sand beach? Yeah. Yep. That's pretty cool. The hill you get to see Cradle Mountain. Okay. Uh, that's 
lots of view going down the hill. It's so beautiful. The day started fairly bad with lots of rain and it was super misty going up the hill here. But now the sun is out. It's cloudy, but you get uh, the effects of the shade and the sunny parts it makes it look stunning. It's a beautiful hike. And while the beginning of the trail is quite busy, it's actually less so here. I mean, there's still quite a few people, but yeah, as you can see, I can walk a little bit without pointing the camera into some other person coming up the trail. supposed to be